Are you excited to see them? So excited to see them! Hello in the box! Hello in the box! What's wrong? Why won't they come out? Oh, they're still at home. They can see you. They're just watching you on their screen. Oh! Now, Miss Lola, we learned that Hello There song from a good friend of ours named Cynthia Alec. Uh-huh! Hi, Cynthia! Is she in the box, too? She might be in the box. There are lots of people inside of that box. Students? Hi, students! Parents? Hi, parents! Teachers? Hello, teachers! Hello, world! <laughs> yes, Lola, I don't know that the whole world is in that little box, but we're glad to say hello anyways. Now, Lola, we've been talking about character work. Care bear work. No, no, no. Character. Carrot work. Mmm. No. Character. Not carrot. Oh, yes. Character work. And we've been talking in particular about point of view. Well, what's wrong? I don't have any fingers. I can't point. No, Lola, not point of view. A point of view is the way that you see something. Oh, I have eyes. I know you have eyes, but not actually see it with your eyes. It's the way that you view something. It's how you feel about it. Oh, Lola, have you ever really loved something and somebody else didn't think it was that big of a deal? Mm-hmm. What did you love that somebody else didn't think was that big of a deal? Can you think of it? Popcorn. You loved popcorn? I love popcorn. You love popcorn and other people didn't think it was that big of a deal. Mm -mm. I have to watch it pop, 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 corn. Pop, pop, corn. Okay. Lola, I think you're getting a little carried away with the popcorn, but that is a really good example where maybe somebody else thinks popcorn's not that big of a deal, but you really like to dance while it's popping. Popcorn. Pop, popcorn. Okay, so you really like the popcorn and somebody else might not like it that much. That's a good example. This week, we are actually going to take something from around your house. Students, pick something from your house. That's right. Our prop, the thing we're going to be holding for drama today, is going to be something from your house. And your line is going to be about how it is a big deal, even if somebody else might think it's not a big deal. So every single person's going to have the exact same line, but you're going to use an object from your home and you're going to have to use one of our actor's tools. Can you think of it? Our actor's tools are our voice, our imagination, our concentration, our collaboration. Can you remember all of our actor's tools? We missed one. Can you remember the one we missed? <laughs> we have many, many actors' tools, but your job is to use the tool of our imagination and to find something from your home and use your imagination to make it into something else. Lola, can you go find something from around here? Mm -hmm. Okay, while Lola goes and finds something, I'm going to tell you what the lines are. Your lines are going to be, I know, I know, this doesn't seem like a big deal. Something like this wouldn't matter, but this... This is way more than what it looks like. This is a, and then students, you have to think of something else it could be. This is a, think of another thing it could turn into. This is a, that's right. So before you try to put it away, before you tell me to set it aside, you need to know it's way more than what it looks like. In fact, it could change the world. This thing right here, it could help you, or it could help you. <laughs> you get to decide. Okay, Lola, that looked like a lot of hard work. Maybe you should go take a break. A siesta. Yeah, maybe you should go take a little nap. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye, Lola. Lola brought us a candle. We know a candle is usually used, um, it makes things smell nice, kind of lights up your room. But I want to be creative with my imagination. Students, right now, could you think of something else a candle could be used for? Something that's not normal for a candle. On the count of three, say what you thought out loud. One, two, three. 
Hmm. Even those of you who didn't actually say it out loud and thought it in your head, I can tell you had some pretty good ideas. So let's try these lines with our candle. Let's try. Here we go. I know. I know this doesn't seem like that big of a deal. Something like this wouldn't matter. But this? This is way more than what it looks like. This is a campfire. This is a light when you're going down through a dark alley. This is a weapon against enemies like a flame. That's right. So before you try to put it away, before you tell me to set it aside, you need to know it's way more than what it looks like. In fact, it could change the world. This thing right here, it could help you find your way if you were lost away from home. It could help people feel better when they don't feel like they have hope. A candle. Let's try something else. I have kind of a bin here. Doesn't seem like a big of a deal. On the count of three, tell me what this could be other than what it's normally used for. It's normally used for storing things. What else could it be used for? Can you think on the count of three, either think it or say it. Ready? One, two, three. It's just some good ideas. Let's see if my ideas were similar. I know. I know this doesn't seem like a big deal. Something like this wouldn't matter. But this, this is way more than what it looks like. This is a secret agent's hiding spot. This, this is a shield. This, this is a place to display artwork. That's right. So before you try to put it away, before you tell me to put it aside, you need to know it's way more than what it looks like. In fact, it could change the world. This thing right here, it could help you do a tap dancing routine. It could be put on the side of a road as a warning that there's a pothole. <laughs> Good thinking outside the box. What if we tried something very simple? like a book. Okay. I know, I know this doesn't seem like a big deal, but something like this wouldn't matter. But this, this is way more than what it looks like. This, this could be a table. This, oh, this could be a weapon. <laughs> I'm going to jump to another thing. What about a sleeping mask? Okay, on the count of three, think in your head, students, what could this sleeping mask become? Are you ready? One, two, three. Share that idea if you have an adult with your adult. If not, say it out loud or keep it in your head. That's up to you, we'll try it together, okay? I know, I know this doesn't seem like a big deal. Something like this wouldn't matter, but this? This is way more than what it looks like. This is a face mask. This is a slingshot. This, this is a hair tie. <laughs> That's right. So before you try to put it away, before you tell me to set it aside, you need to know it's way more than what it looks like. In fact, it could change the world. This thing right here, it could help you bandage wounds. It could help you dress up. Students, today we used a book a bin, a candle, an eye mask, but we didn't keep them those things. We used our actor's tool of imagination to transform them into something else. Now it's your turn. I am giving you these words, but I don't want you to pick one of the things I've just used. I want you to pick something from your home. 
Don't go buy something. Look around your house. Pick a prop from home and you get to decide. What else could it be from your point of view? That's right. The lines this week are the lines we've been doing, but you get to make it your own. I can't wait to see what you choose. Parents, you can turn in this assignment on Microsoft Teams. You can submit a picture of your student's prop, like maybe the candle. You could upload that to Microsoft Teams assignments, or you could upload the video or picture of your student doing that, or you could simply type into Microsoft Teams and say what their fill in the blanks were. And you'll see the fill in the blanks. This is a, this is a, this is a. That's all for now. I hope you have a wonderful week. Goodbye.